Richard Holder here. Thanks for watching the video and thanks for supporting the channel. Here's the question for today. What's the best factory cylinder head? Is it a 706, a 799, a 317, or what about rec port heads? I have all of those answers in one video on two different motors. Let's check it out. In this video, we're going to compare a set of Cathedral Port 706 and 799 cylinder heads to factory LY6 rec port cylinder heads on a cammed LY6. Then we're going to ask, the following question. How much of the change in power, if we saw any, was due to a change in static compression? The cathedral port heads both have smaller chambers than the rec port heads. How did that affect power? Well, we're going to kind of answer that question in the next test. We're going to compare a set of 317 cathedral port heads to a set of factory LS3 rec port heads. Since they have similar chamber sizes, they have similar compression. Now what's the change in power? Make sure to stick around to the end. In the conclusion, we're going to talk about if a cylinder head upgrade is even necessary when you add boost. Hey guys, before we get going on this video, make sure to join me live nightly, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you've got questions about any aspect performance, cylinder heads, camshafts, any motor, doesn't have to be an LS, doesn't have to be a small block Chevy, can be a big block, can be a Honda. I've tested it all. If you've got a question, chances are I have an answer or somebody else on the live feed also might have an answer. If you've got a question, remember, join us live, 7 p.m., live on YouTube. Let's get to our video. Okay, guys, I decided to compile all this information into one video because I get tired of people commenting and saying, yeah, but what about this head? What about this head? What about this head? When I've done tests on various different factory uh, cylinder heads on the LS. So we're going to go through this. And people wanted to know, okay, if we've got a 6 liter, what happens if we upgrade to like rec port heads, LS3 style or LY6 heads? If I replace my cathedral port heads, what happens with the upgrade to the rec port head? And what happens if I'm starting with 706 heads? What happens if I'm starting with 799 or 243 heads? And then once I show those results, then I invariably get, okay, what happens if I use a 317 head? Because that has the same chamber. So we're going to cover all that right now. So we're going to start out, we have a 6 liter test motor. We're also going to run some tests on a 6.2 liter. But right now we have a 6 liter. This started out as an LY6. It was a junkyard motor. We have a, this in this case we were running a Dorman LS2 intake manifold, which is the equivalent of a Trailblazer SS manifold. We have a fast 92 millimeter throttle body, inch and 7 eighths hooker headers. Uh, we have removed obviously the VVT cam from the LY6 because that's what it originally came with and we replaced it with a comp 459 camshaft. I'll go ahead and put the the um the specs up here for the camshaft and for you guys that are already starting to comment make sure that you do and tell me that I used the wrong cam because we're going to try to run a cathedral port cam with a rec port head and if you haven't seen why we can go ahead and do that please take a look at that video because it's also up and know that the rec port cam and the cathedral port cam act exactly the same way on rec port heads and cathedral port heads and how do I know because obviously I've tested that so we have um, stock rockers on this and we're going to start out with running, basically this is a 6 liter LY6 with a cam in it that we've decided to run 706 heads. So we'll take a look at that and see. And uh, here we go. This is um, run with a Holly HP management system. Everything is dialed in. So we ran with a 706 heads. Our combination, our 6 liter combination produced 513 horsepower and had a nice torque curve here. 483 foot-pounds. So now let's take a look and see what happened when we installed the 799 heads, which is something you might choose for a 6-liter application, and they did indeed make more power. They made more power from 5,900 all the way out to 6,800. Peak power with the 799 heads, 522, but you can see here below 5,000, they made less torque um, down here by as much as 409 to 421, so not a big change, and that's why I tell people, if you have a six liter and you already have heads on, just use it. If you've got 706 heads on something, just use them. You're not gonna see a huge difference between the two. But let's take a look and see what happened when we ran the factory LY6 heads, and uh, which is basically an LS3 style head, rectangular port, you know, big valves. And we ran it with the stock LS3 intake manifold, because obviously you have to match the intake manifold port design to the cylinder head. But you can see we picked up a lot of power going to the rec port head. They flow a lot more than either the 706 or the 799 head. So not surprisingly, they're going to make more power. And that's exactly what they did. 
run with the LY6 heads, we made 541 horsepower. And peak torque checked in at 492 foot-pounds, so a little bit more peak torque than either one of the cathedral port heads. But if we look down here below, oh, 44 or 4300 RPM, the rec port heads made less power than the cathedral port heads, either the 706 or the 799 heads. And so from down, down below that point, the cathedral port head was the way to go. But here's the thing to think about, and this is why I'm going to run the next head or the next head comparison for you, is because when we put the cathedral port heads on, they have a much smaller chamber. Both the 799 and especially the 706 head have much smaller combustion chambers, so they're going to increase the compression. So how much of that gain down low is the change in valve size and port shape and port dimension as compared to the change in compression? So we're going to take a look at that now. I'm going to run a set of 317 heads versus the rec port heads because the, the two have about the same combustion chamber size. So let's check that out. Okay, guys, now we're going to compare the factory 317 cathedral port heads to a set of factory LS3 rec port heads. And the reason we're doing that is in the previous combination on the 6 liter, we compared the 706 and 799 cathedral port heads to a set of LY6, essentially the same as an LS3 head. But the reason that we're comparing the 317 is on the previous example, we had a fairly good size change in static compression. Both the 799 head and the 706 head have much smaller combustion chambers than the 70cc stuff that we saw on the LY6 head. So we had a change in compression. So how much of the power that they gained down low is just from compression? And then how much of it is because they have smaller ports and smaller valves and, and maybe have more low speed air, you know, low speed airflow and, and, and enhanced power production because of the size and shape of the head. Now we're going to take a look at the comparison between the 317 head and the LS3 head because they both have very similar uh, combustion chamber sizes. In our case, when we measured the combustion chamber, we only saw a difference of one and a half cc's. The 317 head was actually slightly larger at 71 and a half versus 70 cc's for our, our factory LS3 head. Now we also tested this on an LS3 crate motor with a camshaft because there's no sense in trying to run the comparison on a stock LS3 because the motor simply can't take advantage of all the airflow that basically either one of these have to offer, especially the LS3 head, because the LS3 head has enough airflow to support, you know, over 650 horsepower on the right combination. So we have to, at least in our crate motor, have a camshaft on it. And we did, we picked a Comp 469 camshaft, and I'll go ahead and put the specs up here. We use this cam a lot, and it helps the combination make a lot more power, obviously, than factory cam. Now, we also ran the LS3 with long tube headers, we had a, a, a Holly HP management system, and on the LS3 heads, we ran the factory LS3 intake and a 92 millimeter throttle body, and on the 317 heads, we actually ran a fast manifold and 102 millimeter throttle body, and before you guys all cry foul and <laughs> make comments about it, but go ahead and make the comments and tell me what you think about the intake choice. The reality is that when we've tested the LS3 style heads, especially at this power level, when we compare the factory LS3 intake manifold to a fast LS3 intake manifold, there's essentially no gain. So, but there is a big gain going from any of the factory intake manifolds to the fast manifold on a cathedral port. So we just wanted to show what the heads do by not limiting them with intake manifolds. But go ahead and make the comments and tell me how it's not fair and it's apples and oranges and all that stuff. But here is a comparison between the 317 heads and the LS3 head. So this is our combination. It was the LS3 crate motor from GM. It's basically a cammed LS3 crate motor. So equipped with the 317 heads with optimized air, fuel, and timing, our LS3 cammed LS3 crate motor with the cathedral port heads produced 551 horsepower and 507 foot-pounds of torque. But here's what happened after we replaced those with the LS3 heads. And LS3 intake, not surprisingly, the more head flow, the greater head flow offered by the LS3 hits, they flow a lot more than a 317, you know, 315 CFM maybe versus somewhere in the 250 range. They made a lot more power. And we would expect that given the airflow. 584 horsepower, peak torque was also up 
to 526 horsepower. So this was kind of the best uh, LS3 crate motor that I've ever run with this camshaft. It did very well with both of these heads, but we're looking at a direct back-to-back -back comparison on the same day. The thing that's interesting and I want you to note is take a look down here below 4,000 RPM where we saw on the 706 and 799 heads with the smaller combustion chambers, we just didn't see that same kind of gain when the combustion chamber size was nearly equalized between the 317 and the rec port head. So maybe some of that gain that we saw on the cathedral port stuff was just from compression. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but let's get to our conclusion. Okay guys, what do we learn from this little adventure? Comparing our cathedral port 706, 799, and 317 heads to our rec port LY6 and LS3 heads on our six liter and slightly larger 6.2 liter. Well, if you want to make a lot of power, go with the cylinder head that flows more air. On a 6 liter or 6.2 liter, the rec port head is going to make more power. But here's the question I want you to let me know in the comments. We often see that cathedral port heads make more low speed power. My question is why? Do you think it's from things like port volume, valve size, and port velocity? Or is it simply a matter of static compression? Let me know in the comments. The next question is, Richard, do I need to upgrade the cylinder head when I'm adding a turbo? Normally on an LS, the answer is no. If you have a cammed LS, it doesn't matter what cylinder head you have on it. If you put a 750 horsepower turbo, it's going to make 750 horsepower. That's all it can make, no matter what cylinder head you have on it. Even at 1,000 horsepower, I still wouldn't recommend upgrading the cylinder head. You're only going to make 1,000 horsepower because that's all the turbo will allow. Now, if you want to make 2,000, then yes. I recommend a head upgrade, but not why you think. I recommend an aftermarket head. It's going to flow more air and it's going to make more power, but it's also going to add a thicker deck. Better ceiling for that kind of power. Armature holder, make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing.